VTC Radio Detroit. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, www.wvtcradio.com, or download our WVTC app from the Play Store for Android users and the App Store for iPhone users. are tuned to WVTCRadioDetroit.com to the Sandy Rose Show with your host Sandy Rose where you'll hear the finest in gospel music, insightful conversation, and guests that will enhance you. The Sandy Rose Show can be heard every Monday and Tuesday from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, live on YouTube. So get your pencil, paper, and shouting shoes and get ready for today's broadcast. Why not text a friend or tag a friend and tell them to listen to? My God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds that thy hands have made, You stood somewhere behind the great, grand, and glorious hills of eternity. Rearrange your agenda for the creation of this vast universe. You reached down with your omnipotent hand into the great abyss of nothingness and threw nothing out into nowhere and nothing became something. What a world! we live in. Look at this world. It's gigantic and it's grand. Mountain heights with scintillating views. Valleys scooped out by eternal hands. Rolling prairies, running brooks. Rippling streams blessed with gold, silver, diamonds, and all kinds of precious minerals. My soul sing When I look and see how God splashed a multitude of stars kissing the heavens like diamonds sprinkled against black velvet and hanging like trapezes from the roof of God's gymnasium. You place the moon and announce for the world to hear this is the queen of the night and she has never stopped shining. The oceans, whose depths have to be measured in miles. The sun has never run out of gas. The stars keep coming out to play. The seasons still march in splendid succession. My God is real. He is from everlasting to everlasting. He even looked around one day to see what he had created and said, that's good. And one day, when he brings everything to consummation and a glorious fruition, when he comes with a shout of acclamation to take me home, what joy shall fill my heart when he calls me, I will answer 
and I will bow in humble adoration and my soul will say, how great, how great thou art. For I know I have a house of many mansions, eternal in the heavens, up where Jesus lives, up beyond the atmosphere, the stratosphere, the exosphere, the troposphere, up where I'll never grow old, up to the streets of gold, up beyond the vicissitudes of life. And I will honor him as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and simply say to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever, and forever and forever. My God, how great thou art. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh anointing. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Penetrate every earthly and carnal issue that we have been wrestling with. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. May they be uprooted and demolished and obliterated, God, out of our lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let the deliverance be so spectacular that there is no other explanation but God. God, do the work, Father, where there is a quick release of where bondage has been there. God, let there come such an abundance of the deliverance of the living God. And Father, let us leave with a note of victory on the inside to know that surely you are good and that you have heard and that you have answered from heaven because we have been bold enough to offer ourselves in your presence God and to seek your face and to turn from our wicked ways so that we may hear from heaven oh God and that you will forgive our sin and heal our land heal our land God heal our land heal the sickness in the land heal the corruption that is in the land heal our land heal our land heal the racial divide in America God heal the land Heal the land, heal the sexism. Heal the land, God. Heal our land, heal our land, God. Heal it. Stop the violence, oh God. Heal our land, God. Heal our land of the murder, Lord. Heal our land, God, of the language of the disease. Heal our land, God. Heal it. God, and then use us as healers to the nation. Father, forgive us for walking away from your will. And allowing Satan to run rush hard all over us. We yield ourselves and avail ourselves to say, God, have your way. Have your way. We are your servants. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. And what you say, God, we will obey. To do, Lord, to see your miracle power. Turning the ordinary into that which is rich. Flavored purposed, given by you, that has your anointing upon it. Oh God, may we taste of the new wine of Jerusalem flooding down into our lives. May there be joy unspeakable and yet full of glory, bringing exaltation unto your name. Father, for every household represented in this place today, we stand in the gap. We stand in the gap. We stand in the gap, God. Now, Lord, by your spirit, move. Be released, O oh God, to go into those places. And Father, the instruction that you put within our hearts, we will obey. So that as we obey you, God, that then you move and confirm it with signs and wonders. And we covenant in our hearts at this moment to give you all of the glory and the honor and the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory, glory. Well, I'm safe from my And I'm sancti And I'm holy God And I'm fire Fire All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I have no mic today. Can you hear oh, me? No. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to work with this. How y'all doing? Great. Right. I'm running for my life. Okay. okay. Anybody ask you? Running. Run I'm running. Running. Run. Running Run. for my life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are so glad to be here today um, on the Sandy Rose Show. And I am Sandy Rose and you are? I'm Pastor Jackie. Glad to be here on tonight. <laughs> All right. On tonight. I am Teresa Acton. Welcome to the Sandy Rose Show. All right. And I am Richard 
Daryl Nichols, all the way from Chino. Where? You know Chino, <laughs> California. You got a little tone in your voice there. Is that yeah. my radio voice? <laughs> I said you got a little tone in your voice. I thought you were getting ready to sing it. Getting ready to tune up. You know, I was born in Gary, oh, gosh. Indiana. Oh. But I moved to California in <laughs> It was a cool August 24th. 1981, 12 midnight. <laughs> okay. okay. I saw the, the light. chat and make him stop. I saw <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Praise oh. the Lord. Y'all silly. <laughs> All right. We... Amen. Laugh is Amen. good for the soul. It yeah. is. It is. And just keep laughing. You no. better you, if you don't keep laughing in the midst all that's going midst. on around us. Yeah, you all every now on. and then you need a little something, something <laughs> to make you laugh. Right, right. So what's going on? Um, we're gonna do things a little bit differently today, um, and we want to say hi and welcome to everybody that's out there. We've got uh, Chicago at fifty nine. He said it's raining. Mm. Uh, yeah, oh, and Bishop oh, Mitchell yeah. laid me out. Yes, of course he did. Of course. <laughs> he did. Um, you all need to go back. If you're watching this broadcast, just go back on this broadcast and look at ministering moments. Don't go right now. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but go back and watch ministering moments today. Bishop Mitchell. He really broke that thing down, broke it down, broke it down. We are happy about him breaking it down like that. Um, and we want to uh, say hi to everybody else out there. Hi, Sister Catherine, Dr. Catherine. Catherine. How are you doing? Um, and we've got uh, Brenda Rubin, and she's all the way from the Bay Area. Up north. Yeah, up north, up north, where they have weather like everybody else. Right. <laughs> Y'all are the only ones that stay constant all the time. We we get sick. We feeling like we feeling like summer. 70 yeah. degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause it's, it's a beautiful day in Zamunda, baby. <laughs> beautiful day. It sure is, because it's still about gotta be close to 70, 68. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good, good it's a good day in the neighborhood. Um, Hallie said that um, it is uh, seventy one. Seventy one. Yeah, see, see what I'm saying. Yeah. Hey, Roosevelt. Oh, we'll take we'll take that. We will take all of that and anything else. You know, that's the being able to dress and not sweat weather. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Being mm -hmm. able to get out in the yard and get some of them leaves up. Oh, don't mention that, Sandy. Right <laughs> before the winter comes and no man can work. <laughs> yeah. that's, right. that's what we want to do. So we are happy about it today. Again, we're going to do something different today. Um, we have um, a guest that's coming on. Uh, none other than you just heard her sing. And she can natural born sing. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah. uh, Lucinda Moore. Just a singer from Singersville, singer from Singersville. So we are happy about all of that today. Um, so what's going on in the neighborhood? Everything's cool over here. We just uh getting ready. What are we getting ready for? Uh holidays. I mean, it's the holiday season. What holiday? Yes, I, I don't know if I have Christmas on my mind, but I'm thinking about Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's it ain't many weeks away. It's in the play. Hey, Wilma's already say take the stuff out of the garage so we can decorate. <laughs> and you, want, you do want to decorate early because it doesn't seem like for all the work that you do that you get enough time. 
Right. So, you know, I can understand people right after Halloween, they're trying to, to rush, because, but I've already seen some Christmas decorations. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you had posted a picture, dude. Good with Halloween, and I mean, it's, it's uh, decorated like it's Christmas time from the uh, really? line all the way up to the top of the roof of the houses. Yeah. With Halloween? With Halloween, Miss Sister Jackie, go on my page. I'll put it back up. This guy around the corner does this every year. He has a festival in his yard. The statue wow. talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, people just like to, right. to to do things to to make people happy. Right. You know, right. when they go when they go by, it makes people happy. It makes them happy. Not if it's ghouls and goblins and well, it's just skeletons. And like to see stuff. It's entertainment. It is. It's entertainment. It is. I don't like scared. You know, mm -hmm. and I don't. I don't like that feeling. But I mean, I understand. I was watching Fake cemetery. Some that's people. That's not entertaining. A need to be scared. Mm -hmm. I have. I don't. That's not my testimony. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to be scared. Yeah. I either. Scared. Now I now no, I sure. love to see lovely fall decoration. Mm -hmm. Now I don't mind pumpkins and pumpkins being carved and and even the lighting of them and and the uh wreaths with leaves and all the colors of the leaves and you know the scarecrow. I, I can get with the scarecrow. Yeah. You got to put it in the yard. You know, that kind of things that represent fall. That, mm -hmm. because one of my prettiest uh, parties that I do, because I do I do event planning and party decorating, one, one of my favorite ones to do is fall. Because there's so many pretty colors combined together that makes it. And so, uh, you know, so the, if it was fall, fall is one thing. Uh, Halloween is another. Right. <laughs> fall is a dark colors with brown, your orange, and springs would yeah. be your light colors. Spring is pastels. Yeah. Oh. Shade, shades of orange. I'm telling you, my, my backyard right now, is, it has gotten beautiful. And, I guess. I yeah. and just so you all know, um, I'm not, not putting your comments up here, but some of them today, for whatever reason, we're experiencing technical difficulties. And mm. I don't see, um, I can see them on one screen, but I cannot see them to put them on the screen. So don't think that um, I'm not putting your comments on the screen. I can't. <laughs> I want to say, we want to say Mama, I can't. Mama, Florence. Mama Florence is out here. Um, and I don't think the time changes. When is it after the election? Well, before, I think. They why changed it so much. We it we we it it went to the moon. And why are we thinking about it? And we have more in our hand than what they went to the moon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so daylight savings time is Sunday, November 6th. Oh, the okay. following week. So it's not this weekend, it's next weekend. So is this the this is when we and this thank you gain a yeah. um, hour a lose hour. Fall back, spring forward, fall back. So we're gonna so gain we, an hour. We're gonna you get can stay in bed later. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. well that part don't matter to me. Well it does now because I, <laughs> I have to, I have to yeah. set my clock for it for six. But they did years. they moved it because more. it was earlier, and I'm kind of glad. Um, because it'll be even darker now, and I just don't like the dark. I, I don't like it because you will be going to work in the dark, and you'll come home in the dark. Now, and didn't that's, they take a, a rough vote day. to get rid of? That's a rough. That's a rough day when you when you get up. When it's I was, dark, dark. Yeah, when I left before I just before I retired, I was on days. I had to be at work by six. We was rolling at six. And hmm. it was black dark. Wow. <laughs> and by the time I got home at four, it was dark again. I said, <laughs> <laughs> you say like 10,000 midnights, huh? I said, whoa, I'll be glad when this season get over with. 
Yeah. And, and this is, I, I'm not a fan of spa. I'm glad the Lord let me make the wake up call. So don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I'm not a fan of really fall and winter because of the darkness. I don't mind the, you know, the cold or whatever, but it's that darkness. I just don't but you mind. know, Sister Sandy, evangelist, I wonder if it's have anything to do with our age as well. Because now, like see, when it's dark, I want to be at home. <laughs> it is, I, I, I like being at home in like, like that. But now, <laughs> it's like, it's going to be dark. I got to leave. I, I got to go because it's getting ready to be. It's mm, ready to I just, I just don't like, like the dark. dark. I think, I think it, you know, and, <laughs> and the Bible speaks to that. I don't know if my reasoning is according to the bible but it's um it's you know i know that's right dark you no, love darkness rather than the light i it, oh okay I, I just i just i like it light I like me it. too i'm with you light saying, yeah. me light. too me yeah. too yeah. and a lot of people have problems uh, driving in the dark so they yeah. rather but i can remember like when i was about 17 18 when we were going out, because by the time I got legal to go out, I stopped going out. But my <laughs> yeah. brother, until it was like 11 o'clock, I was like, we can't leave out at 11. We got to go now. And he was like, uh-uh, baby, we don't go now. And I was like, we need to go. <laughs> well, in, in my heyday, which wasn't quite, it wasn't quite yesterday. In my heyday, <laughs> I had no conscious of dark whatsoever. I, uh, you, Sandy, you know those days. I it, there was nothing to to attend four or five services, uh -huh. and, and services all through oh. the week. And going going to the various revivals and going to. I had Whitfield rehearsal. We had we had G GMW8 rehearsal. We had oh, well, and, and yes. so now that you say that, now that you say that, um, yeah. But I think um, the streets have gotten a little worse. They're, mm -hmm. they're worse than they mm -hmm. were when we were growing up. I mean, right. you can catch the bus. You you can't really get on the bus now. And they got yeah. new ones in Detroit. You have you noticed? They have new beautiful buses. Yeah, but I mean, and you not know, a we song. Were buses and all, you know, all times of the day and night. I mean, yeah. there's nobody gonna bother you. We I didn't have a key until I got to what junior high school. Okay. Mm. Close to high school. Okay. Number one, it was always somebody at my house, but up until yeah, junior high, we didn't lock the door. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> We didn't either. We didn't, we didn't either. I mean, you. you we you, left you, our bikes the on the door. Floor. Stayed, the door stayed unlocked, and you just came in. Yeah. <laughs> my mother, mm -hmm. my mother, my mother kept it unlocked until all of her children. And mind you, you guys, I had six brothers, mm. and all older than me. <laughs> and you know, mom kept the door unlocked, so they can come on in. And it's amazing. She, I think, she could hear in her sleep. She, 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 she can hear when all of her children have arrived, and then, she, and then she'll get. She would get up, and then she'd lock her door. Yeah, yeah. my mother said she knew our footsteps. Yeah, yeah. Mm. She know which one of us was coming in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now Roosevelt said that he's in the bed at five p.m. when it's dark. My body. <laughs> and I get it. Wow. I get it. As soon as it's dark, I'd be like, okay. Uh, let me start gathering. My, 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 hey, so you go to <laughs> it's time to go night night. <laughs> I get it. I get but it. Sometimes you can stay in a bed too long, though. I, my back starts hurting if I'm in there too long. So uh, yeah. later is better you for me. Stay too, you and you can stay too long. And my grandmother said all the time. She said, "Don't stay in the bed because the bed will sap your strength." And um, I did not know really, it really does talking about until it sap starts my strength. And it was like you lay there, but physically your core stops, you know, stops moving, all of that. And so you gotta, down. and that's what keeps you upright. And when you when your core is gone, 
and that comes a lot of time for from laying in the bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I did. I, I do my best sleeping in a chair. Mm. <laughs> Not in a bed, okay. sitting upright. Really. <laughs> I do my best sleeping sitting upright. My husband be like, he looks like, how can you do that? <laughs> Said, it's in my DNA. <laughs> my, both of my parents sl slept real well sitting upright in a chair. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, sleep. <sighs> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah, because um, you know, your body is supposed to at some point lay down, and mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> if you can't, that might be an issue. <laughs> but yeah, um, well, my feet are up. My feet are up. Yeah, uh, a, a recliner. Yeah. Okay, that's not exactly straight up, is it? You well, no, I don't. Back. I don't necessarily yeah. uh, recline, but I do have the foot rest out so that okay. my legs are out. Okay. Because I didn't. Because one thing I have noticed now is that when my feet stay down, they will swell. They will. Yeah. Mm, yeah, they yeah, will yeah, swell. yeah. Yeah. So my feet have yeah. to be elevated so that that mm -hmm. does not happen. But uh, now, now Donald said that the secret to sleep is a good pillow. Now Paulette hmm. said, um, I sleep more in my recliner than in my bed. So she's with you, Jack. <laughs> but yeah, a good pillow is is essential. Yeah. Right. With a good mattress. Good mattress. With a good mattress. Yeah. A good mattress. Yeah. Good, mattress good pillow. All of that will yeah. send you right in. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> well, we were wait. We we're waiting on our guests. Who? Okay. Um. Well, I can I can share with you all while while we wait. I participated. Uh, this this past weekend was a very busy weekend for me. I had a Sweet 16 event that I was uh, um, in the planning for, I should say, that happened. My baby brother on my husband's side, my brother-in-law, we had his home going service. And, oh. and then there was a leadership conference this weekend. Thank God for the leadership conference. They got me through all the other stuff. Yeah, there. yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. And they're talking about, yeah, we've been hit hard. I tell you, when I tell you, my family has been hit hard with, yeah. with the death angel <laughs> on both sides. We just, we keep bouncing back and forth. I said, oh, and I'd be scared to say, who next? Because I'll yeah, find out. All you got to do is keep living. You find out who next. But mm -mm. what I want to share with all of you from the conference, how Whoa. they were emphasizing how the media has allowed the word of God to go everywhere. Yes. And, you know, okay. in the last day, they said everybody was going to hear. And the media is the way it's happening. They're, they're, and they were encouraging, because this was a pastoral leadership conference that, that I was attending, and they were telling the pastor, listen, you got to get with this media. You got to get with this media. Mm -hmm. You know, because they said back in the day, you I remember when I remember when the church, the only people that could be on TV was the big guys, you know, or Roberts was on TV. And mm -hmm. yeah. Now the little man You too can be on TV. You too can be on TV. <laughs> and I mean, remember we talked about this a long time ago, but we talked about how the Bible says in Revelation that the two witnesses will be slain in the street. And everybody's going to be able to see it. And I used to wonder how in the world is that everybody going to see it? <laughs> That's how they're going to mm -hmm. see it. Because everybody's, everybody's going to have a phone. I mean, they, they talked about the advantage of, he said, there's so many uh, social medias. Mm. It is. So it is. And you can reach. Take advantage of them all. Right. You can reach people. Um, and that's what we do here at WVTC. So if you're interested in getting a broadcast or doing a or having a commercial, we can service you and we will spread that news for you far and wide. Mm -hmm. Internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Al Gore's Internet. 
Hey, we're doing that media stuff right now. I'm in California. Teresa's in Kentucky. Yeah. And you are too are in Detroit. And I can reach out and I feel you mm-hmm. right now. And see, it even expanded us from where we were before the panorama to yes. after the panorama. Um mm-hmm. it's we we could only have guests that were located in Detroit. We only had hosts that were located in Detroit. And right. now we can have guests and hosts from everywhere. Um, everywhere. We are not limited. Um, so this yeah. this is a it's a, it's mm-hmm. a miracle because yeah, because you know they were saying how how the world is taking advantage of it. But Jesus said all kind of junk greater, greater work shall you do. Greater. And I used to wonder all the time, well, my God, he healed the sick and raised the dead. What more could we do? We do. That's <laughs> great. But he didn't have the internet. No. <laughs> you know, and he could talk to 5,000 people in his earthly body. He could only talk to those around him. Right. Now, I we mean, you know, five million people that we, we five million. see, you know. <laughs> And yes. we can talk and say something today, and they'll hear it thirty years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's true. We're reaching the masses. Yeah, yeah. How to reach the masses? So that's what we're doing right here at WBTC. We've got this platform, and we are grateful for it. And we're here to Amen. do us but the lift of Jesus mm-hmm. and help His people live a better life. Because after we get the folks saved, because you know they, you know, people are talking about church now. But after you, people get saved, they need to know how to live their best mm-hmm. life. You know, mm-hmm. the streets tell you how to live your best life. Why not the church? Right. Why That's not right. you come on the internet and find out how to live your best life? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that's yeah. what we're here for. I'm getting ready to, um, I'm in the process of uh, putting the framework together for youth for, on TikTok because they, they oh, emphasize Lord. how the kids are on TikTok. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm allowing yeah, the whole We had a TikTok thing. star on yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah neighbor said he's, the fact that it only has to be 30 to 60 seconds. I say, oh. Okay, you know, so I'm I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to speak to me, and allowing me so that I can outline what my hot little spiritual nuggets will be mm-hmm. in them thirty, oh, okay. seconds, in them sixty seconds, especially yeah. designed for kids, especially designed okay. for them. Now I'm, sh- I'm sure uh, older people can be blessed by it, but mainly designed for uh, youth. So what element is in those those TikToks that you're going to design it for the youth? Well, it's actually, I'm just talking about the approach with the word of God. Golden nuggets from the word of God that, that I will talk about and relate it to youth issues and just give them a nugget and keep it rolling. <laughs> you know, so you think that the, uh, the youth... I'm just now getting things written up and so that I can be ready to roll. Mm-hmm. So, so you All think right. the youth would uh, um, uh, gravitate more toward uh, TikTok than anything else? Well, they already, at, at our conference, they said that uh, millions of kids from the age of 12 to 25, that, that group, on TikTok thousands of times a day. I said, really? I was okay. like, but what is TikTok? Our guest is here, and oh. we want to go ahead with the bio. Okay. Well, I'd like to know more about that TikTok. Um, <laughs> but our guest is uh, Mr. Cinda Moore. And Matthew twenty two fourteen states, many are called, but few are chosen. And when Miss Lucinda Moore started singing in church at the age of four, there has been an unwavering pull that she was not only called, but it was her destiny and her assignment to share the message of Jesus Christ to a world longing for hope. 
By the time Lucinda was in her early teenage years, she had been singing with several local groups and honing her skills as a vocalist, as well as being influenced by legends such as Tremaine Hawkins, mm -hmm. the Clark sisters, Walter Hawkins, and Andre Crouch, just to name a few. But what should have been one of the most exciting times in her life turned out to be a moment that she would never forget for the rest of her life. During her senior year of high school, Lucinda tragically lost her father in a brutal stabbing. The loss of her father was devastatingly painful and still affects her to this day. And two years later, ironically, Lucinda found herself singing background for one of her idols she had been listening to uh, growing up, and it is renowned gospel singer Tremaine Hawkins. Mm -hmm. During her five-year stint with this gospel singer, Lucinda <laughs> learned what it meant to be an artist, what music ministry was all about, and most importantly, developed a deeper and more meaningful relationship with God. Soon thereafter, for several years, Lucinda began traveling and performing with multiple groups, including experiences with Hezekiah Walker, Carmen, the Gospel Music Workshop of America, and Joe Pace and the Colorado Mass Choir. In 2004, she independently released her first solo recording entitled Unlimited Praise. By 2005, Lucinda had managed to land a national recording contract with Ty Scott Records with the help of industry veteran Talisa Stinson. Less than a year later, in 2006, Lucinda released her debut self-titled live CD DVD that landed in the top 20 on the Billboard Gospel Charts and also spawned a big radio hit, Pressure Into Praise. The success of a popular radio single and chart-topping debut put Lucinda's already rising career into high gear. Four years later, in 2010, Lucinda returned with her highly anticipated second release, Blessed, Broken, and Given, which landed at number 13 on Billboard's top gospel album charts, solidifying more as a major player in gospel music. This album would eventually win Lucinda her first stellar award in 2011 for traditional female vocalist of the year. So we're excited to hear uh, Miss Lucinda Moore and uh, hear her story. We saw her at GMWA this year and were just mesmerized. So we want to uh, see her now in person. So welcome to the Sandy Rose Show, Miss Lucinda Moore. I have no claps. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. You too. Yeah. So, what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing so good. I mean, she read the whole bio. <laughs> she told the whole story. Huh? I mean, in the end, to, to four years old to now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we usually ask people things like, "How did you get started singing?" and mm -hmm. and things like that. Because there are folks that are watching, and they they want to pattern their lives, you know, or mm -hmm. figure out what it is, or find out what that X factor is to make mm -hmm. you stand out. So, yeah. how did you know you could sing? My grandmother, my grandmother at the age Always of a grandma. Old, yeah, grandma. Uh, <laughs> At the age of four years old, um, she know I, I was singing around the house. I did not know I can sing. You know, I was just I just knew that I love music, and I love listening to music. I love hearing music. And at at the age of four, I did not know I had an ear. I had an ear for singing, and didn't mm -hmm. know. It. Um, mm -hmm. And she knew that I could. And um, I grew up in an organization called the Five Baptized Holiness Church. Ooh, yes, I, <laughs> this is my grandmother unexpected you know i was sitting next to the first lady and her granddaughter and unexpectedly um she i was called up for a solo never didn't know my grandmother was gonna do this uh, you know she asked mm -hmm. the pastor to call me up because i around the house all the time 
she knew mm. that I can sing. And um, I got up. What well happened was I shook my head no. <laughs> so I went like this, and you know, with you grandmamas. Just stuff up there. <laughs> grandmamas and them, you not gonna shake your head no. No. Gonna, yeah, in church. I was back in the day, so she took me in the bathroom and spanked my behind. Mm -hmm. um and still made me get up there to sing mm -hmm. so um my <laughs> first solo doing? i went to a church yeah the name of my church was the church that i attended was saint john five baptized holiness church and timothy wright's father was my pastor okay mm. oh wow and he got up to announce, and timothy wright actually I, I sung um going up yonder and timothy wright actually played for me at the age of four years old Mm. Wow. My, first, wow. my very first solo. And Going Up Yonder was my favorite song. And the artist that sings it was my favorite artist at four. Okay. okay. Amen. 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 And it's something that it stood out that much that you even remember the name of the song. Right. Yes. So I remember <laughs> it stood out. I remember the beating. I remember all of it. I remember how. <laughs> I remember the announcement. I remember everything. <laughs> so what how did, did you do? get how did you get on a national platform? Well, I used to sing with a um a group called the Willie Small Singers in New Haven, Connecticut. And um Willie, well, let me go back. Let me go back. I was trained for it by uh, a man named Reggie. Um, I started going to this church, you know, where it was a lot of young people because at my church, there was not, there was young people, but I wasn't able to sing like I wanted to. After Fire Baptized Holiness, I went over to start going to church with my mom, the home of you for praise. All of us went to, went to, went to church together after I left the Fire Baptized movement um, at a young age. So Bishop J.C. White became my pastor and that's that's the home of you for praise so my bishop had two national recording artists in the church um mm. from that it was it was a grown-up my voice has always been mature so it was a grown-up choir and then there was a little kids choir my pastor wanted me to get into the, the, the grown-up choir and mm. you know it's just all the other kids were not happy you know, and their parents was not happy. So I went over to the right. church with my aunt where um, it was um, uh, the, the, the minister of music. Um, his name was Reggie Stewart. Reggie Stewart was standing next to the organ. Like any time that after service, before service, during rehearsals, um, and stand me next to the organ to train me to train me how to riff, train me how to, you know, mm -hmm. when I first went there, I was an alto. When I got out of there, I was a soprano. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, at, so at the age of 14, I was approached by a, a young man named Willie Small. Um, I, I, one of the baddest groups in Connecticut, in, in, in New Haven, Connecticut, in, in, in the region. And um, what happened was I sang with them from the age of 14 and at the age of 16, I um, received a call from my cousin, Jonathan DuBose, who mm. said that Tremaine Hawkins wow. needed, needed a, um, a soprano. And, he, and the person that he thought of, the person that he thought of was me. Wow. So <laughs> then I grew up. Right. And I and I told him, I said, why don't you just get the whole group, you know, all of us together, you know, the really small singers. I'm always thinking about somebody else, mm -hmm. you know, it's even it's though the offer was for me. Yeah. It was, the offer was just for me. You're so I'm always thinking about somebody else. So we pulled, I, I pulled the, the group in with me. <laughs> and and often we began to travel the world with Tremaine Hawkins and so at the age of 16 and people can see this on YouTube um, my first big date was with Tremaine Hawkins for her for Tremaine live album 
Oh, okay. I've okay. never sung in front of that many people in my life. At okay. that age. So, so that's wow. how I got started professionally. So did you did you get an opportunity to sing solo? Or you just yes, on the album. Yeah. <laughs> on the oh, she um it's her main it's, it's album. Anybody, your first album, your first single was with Tremaine It wasn't even supposed to be. So we 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 rehearsed for two weeks with Walter Hawkins. We rehearsed for two weeks straight out in Oakland, California, for two weeks straight. Never in a million years did I think she was going to throw me the microphone. Me <laughs> out, of, out of the whole group, she threw, she wow. threw me the microphone. <laughs> and so um, it was on the song called "Lift Me Up," and I think that's on YouTube too, if I'm not mistaken. If you can find it. Um, and at 16, I was so nervous. I didn't know she was going to throw me the mic. She said, she said, lift me up. And then she, she looked at me and said, take it, baby. Take it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take it. <laughs> okay. You didn't need a spanking that day, did you? <laughs> it's going crazy. So I began to sing the song. I was nervous in my booth and that was it. Wow, that's what people lady. found out that that's that's what people found out that soprano girl. Mm. Wow, amazing! Can you describe the first the moment you first met Jermaine? How did what did you feel? Oh God, I felt, it felt like I was in heaven, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I I left this part out. I left this part out because um, anybody that knows me that's close to me knows I'm very prophetic. And um, I spoke Tremaine Hawkins up at four years old. I would walk around the house mm -hmm. with the Hawkins um, album, and I knew that Tremaine was the one that sung Going Up Yonder mm -hmm. and all of those songs, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I looked to my mom and I said, Mom, I'm going to sing with this lady one day. Wow. At four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were right. Yep. I said, I'm going to, I said, I'm I'm going to sing with this lady one day, I said. Wow. And I ended up with singing out of, out of the blue. It just dropped out of the sky. I ended up singing with her at, at 16. 16 mm -hmm. years old. And you had your, your big break. So after, after you had your, your big break, I mean, how did, how did that? Yeah, it's, it's breaking up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can you hear my Wi-Fi is good? No. No. My Wi-Fi mm -hmm. is good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can't hear. Okay. Can you hear us now? I can hear it. It sounds it sounds like a robot. Oh, but that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it sounds like a robot. But what what's coming forward for you? What are you looking for? Huh? What's coming to? I can't. So it's breaking up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Oh. And you're you're circling. Oh, you're uh, in the chat. I just put something in the chat. I'm sorry. All right, maybe I need to go out. Can you hear me? Yeah, we, we can hear you. you. We can hear you. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Roosevelt says she's freezing. Yeah. Yeah, I can't hear you. Okay. Maybe she needs to go outside. Yeah. And now she's spinning. But that was amazing. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's now that's a great story. And you hear well, about young it's it's young always people. amazing how God can orchestrate your he footsteps. He can. You know, and, and you use the term it just dropped out of the sky. But, <laughs> but it but it really didn't just drop no, out. No, God orchestrated that that yes, thing. He did. Yes, she said it at four. 
Yeah. And God and, 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 people are from one coast to the other coast. Right. So you're, you're back. Can you hear us now? Bill can't hear us. Mm-mm. Nope. It's, it's no. worse. Can we get her on the phone? Well, it's, it's terrible. Time because she has another uh, another interview to do as well. So okay. Um, yeah. She probably but needs. It, but it's um, amazing. Yes. I agree. That how she was in Connecticut and mm -hmm. Tremaine Hawkins was all the way in the Bay Area. Right. Ocean, you know, one ocean to the other ocean. And mm -hmm. God brought them together. Mm -hmm. Like, that. So he can do anything. He can do anything. Yes, he could. Yes. He could. Yeah. He could. You had favor because you, you, yeah, you knew somebody. So, so yeah. says he, he, he has a plan. He has a plan for each of our lives, and and what what we get twisted on is we think we have to know every step, every step, every step. Well, he may he may or may not show you every step in advance, mm -hmm. but generally everybody that you meet, there's that there, there's a purpose connected to your destiny, whether it's yeah. something to strengthen you that you need to resist or something that will cause you to move forward in your in in your ministry amen he, he sets so, people up for you yep so um now going forward what what's in do you have any projects in the works well right now i am um working on my ep my ep comes out um in march Okay. Um, I'm finishing up and I have featured artists on this EP and I am I am just like so happy. Um, right now I have a single out that's called Lord I Hear You. Lord I yeah, Hear You yeah. has 4.1 million streams or 5 million today. I just found out it went up to 5 million streams and uh, we are number one on the gospel indicator again for the third third. Amen. Amen. Well, that, that's that's the single that we heard you sing uh, at DMWA. I just watched the video today. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. That is amazing. So um, now, Thank you. are you taking? Are you the type of person like you said you wanted to take the choir with you as you went? Are you training anybody to you know? You're asking me a question. I heard some of it. I didn't hear all of it. Um, I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi, what's going on, but I don't think it's my Wi-Fi. Something is going on. Okay, so what I asked was you wanted to take your choir with you when you went to Tremaine? Are you I was singing in the choir and then... Yeah, are Tremaine. you training anybody to to sing do you find any talent out you know while you're singing have you gone to the little church and found a little girl or something that can sing as well uh -oh. here she goes <laughs> well she said she could see the chat can we maybe type the question let's see it's probably her connection because uh, if she's not there, she won't be able to see the chat. <laughs> well, I'm saying she she was able to see it when she was on, even though she couldn't hear. All right, all oh, right. Look better now. Yeah, can you hear us now? Yes. Okay, great, great, great. So uh, I forgot what my question. <laughs> yeah, is she, is she turning that same one? Yeah, you know, are you? Um, I know you said you wanted to take your choir with you to with Tremaine, right? Um, are you training anybody now to to sing with you? Have you found some young talent that you might want to groom to to uh, be on a national level as well? 
I'm on. I'm in the beginning stages of it. Um, mm -hmm. I've been keeping my eye open for certain ones. Um, my problem with the millennials now, they don't listen. My 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 thing back then was I listened, and I'm trying to find someone who will listen. Yeah. When you I, say listen, what do you mean exactly? You want them to do what? Well, well, I was always taught that in order to be successful, you have to listen to someone who's already done it. Mm -hmm. What I'm finding out, what I tried to try to help cert certain ones, I tried. And what I'm getting is they're trying to tell me how to do it. <laughs> they're trying to tell me that they already know. I know, I know, I know. And what you cannot do is I had someone that even though I knew, I act like I didn't. You mm, know? Right. Because that person already already launched major recording artists. Talisa Stinson is somebody who trained me when it mm -hmm. came down to the gospel industry. Mm -hmm. And even though I knew some things because I sung with Tremaine for years and I watched and I, you know, there were some things about me that I didn't know that was about me. I didn't know that just because I backed up Tremaine Hawkins don't mean you're going to get a record deal. <laughs> it, it don't mean that somebody's going to sign you. Tremaine mm -hmm. already has her. And what I try to teach the young people now is just because you're doing background for somebody major don't mean it's your career. You got to start all over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Amen. You got to start mean. over and do it. Do it. Yeah. You got to do it. Yeah. You put in the work. You're, ab you're absolutely right. And it seems like the theme that people have been saying as they come on the show, I can't get somebody to listen. Ooh. Can't get people to listen. Um, so now where did you get... Um, I, I'm, I have to call it showmanship for a lack of a better word, um, because you can you work the the audience and you understand the crowd, you understand the mood of the room. Where did that come from? Tremaine, watching her. <laughs> oh, you she listen. Looked at, she looked at me, and out of the out of all the background singers, she 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 told me directly. She said, "I see." You, because you got to remember, Tremaine started out when she was 19. Yeah. Yeah. I started out when I was 16. She looked at me and said, you remind me of me. She said, out of all the background singers, out of these four background singers, you are the one that's going to do what I'm doing. So I have to train you. Mm -hmm. So she trained me how to dress. She trained me how to work a stage. She trained me how to, how to do the sound check. I would do all her sound checks mm. out, of, out of all the background singers. I'm doing her sound check all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, she she like, let me still Did do they get mad sound at check. You? Yes. <laughs> it was upset. Now can you bend your go. back? Can you bend your back like to remain? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> really? Really? I do. I do just like just like her. Yep. So she now does that. she know that but you know there's a secret and this is what Walter told me. Walter Hawkins also was giving me nuggets at a right. young age. So what Walter said, do you know why Tremaine bent her back like that? I said, why? She, he said, because when you bend your back, the volume in your voice come out more. And mm. it will be able to last more. You'll be able to hold your note longer. Really? But you listen. Why she does it. That's why she does that. Oh. And you listened. And you learned. I listen. Yeah. I have a I picture know. of Tremaine almost touching the ground, <laughs> bending her back with her head. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, she yeah, and I do the same thing. So that's how long what, did that's you what people say? I'm making a letter C. Huh? <laughs> how long did you sing with her? For eight years. Okay. Okay. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all still in contact? Still. She's one of my feature artists on my album. Okay. Good for you. That's Good awesome. You. That Great. is that is awesome. That is that is awesome. Um, and now do you have any type of a foundation or anything that you do charitable work? 
Well, this weekend I'm going to be, um, this week I'll be with uh, Melissa Wade for the breast cancer. Okay. Okay. Um, they're doing a they're doing a run, a walk for breast mm-hmm. cancer. And I'm performing for that, and I'm going to be giving out um, and selling um, the pink hats, pink shirts, all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yes, I'm in the process of looking for land to um, build a safe haven home. Oh, oh better nice. Awesome. Better than abuse women and children. So I'm trying to do like a subdivision, a gated community where I can um, teach them um, life skills and all of that. So I'm in the, I'm in the process of uh, researching and making sure that I know what I'm doing, getting the people to help me, mm-hmm. um, getting the you know government funding and all of that. That's awesome. That, that That's is awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. And it's needed. Yeah. <laughs> it's needed. So now, are you still in Connecticut? Is that your is that your base? I still have my home in Connecticut. Uh, my children are at my house in Connecticut. My grown children. And but I'm in North Carolina, mm-hmm. Rocky Mount. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Amen. So I mean, you know, just looking at all of the things, um, and you really came to the Gospel Music Workshop this year, and you were our featured soloist. And I mean, you. You went room to room and just killed them. You left killing them. bodies laying on the floor, room to room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because so she do old me. church. She do old church. People yeah, she did. Old church. church will always work. I don't care what nobody say. Old it church will always, always work. What's your favorite yeah. hymn? Um, Have Dine on the Way. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. yeah, that's my favorite one. Amen. Amen. And um, well, we could we could sit here and talk to you for a long time, but I know you have to go. I have um, another interview. Have respect yeah. your time. Um, and we want to thank you so very, very much for being mm-hmm. with us. And we just basically scratched the surface because I had a couple songs I wanted to play, and I want you to talk about them before we yeah. play. So uh we will. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, the medley. Okay. Yeah, the medley. Okay. Amen. Right. Church, because, you know, they like going to church. The same they, they, like, they, they like the they huckabuck. Like church. Yes. They yeah, yeah they, got, they have to get their tambourine and their washboard. Right. See, if you came from the Fire Baptist Church, I know you know about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. uh-huh. I know how to play it, too. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay. And and you know you're real good when you get a thimble and go at it. You know? And 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 a hanger. <laughs> oh wow. A hanger. Yes. Amen. 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 Wow. So now when you just one last question. When you record, where do you record? In everywhere. 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 Okay. Right now I'm recording at Candy Burris. Um I don't know if y'all know the housewife of Atlanta. Right. I'm recording at her studio right now, one of the songs that I'm trying to get one of my friends, one of my A lister friends on that you I can't will. say. You um, will. Um, but Cedric Thompson, Cedric Thompson has a studio. That's who did Lord I Hear You. And um, <laughs> that's where I go in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. And mm-hmm. who's your producer? Cedric Thompson. I'm producing my own stuff. Okay. Okay. And then, um, Kevin Bond is oh, producing Kevin. one. Okay. Kevin. Yeah. Okay. And uh, um, my nephew Brandon J. Um, is producing one, and that's it. Okay. That sounds like a great team. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be something. Kevin is bad. Kevin Bond is bad. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After hit, after hit, after hit. So you know you got a hit coming. Right. Um, yeah, we want to thank you yeah. for being with us. We're going to play this song so that our audience can hear. I, I really hate that I could not bring on the comments, 
But we do have one one question from the audience, if you could answer it. Um, when I hear you sing, okay. it, it seems like you have an unusually incredible range, but it seems like you restrain yourself from going all the way to the stars. How difficult is that for you? Um, um, ask the question one more time. Okay. Then we're going they in said, when I hear you sing, it seems like you have an unusually incredible range, but it seems right. like you restrain yourself from going all the way to the stars. Now, how <laughs> difficult is that to keep yourself from going all the way there? I go all the way there. Um, <laughs> I, was, I, I, it. I was put this way. to a couple of songs and you went. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? It saying. depends on what song it, it is. Stay there. I stay there at that. <laughs> Um, it's not difficult at all. It's just that it's a, it's a matter of, you know, just training and just making sure that you don't overdo it. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes, Very good. sometimes, yeah, my, my, you know, a lot of artists concentrate on riffing, which I yeah. can do it all. I can do everything that anybody can do out here, but I just don't. My concentration and my focus when I'm singing is to reach the soul and reach um, to be to impact that soul so that you'll have something to go home with. So I'm not so concentrating on um, riffing and all of that. If I can hit that one note that can make <laughs> you scream and holler and deliver you and get you set free, that's what I'm going to do. So, okay. I hear you. All right. All right. And um, we've got people in the audience. They're saying, I first realized you on Tremaine Live, also at Marvin Sapp's <laughs> wife's home going. They, you know, yes. um, and they're they're commenting. They're, they're really out there okay. commenting and um, enjoying okay. you, uh, wishing you well in your new project. Mm -hmm. um, and they are listening. So now, if somebody wanted to get, do you have a website that they could go to? Yes, and I also have merch over there. I got shoes, and I have, I have shoes. These people are hitting me. I have, I have shoes, and I have clothes, and I have all of that over there at LucindaMoore.com. LucindaMoore.com. Also, you can you can follow me on all um, social media. At I am Lucinda Moore on Facebook. I'm with I'm the one with the blue check. Um, you can follow me there. Um, on YouTube, it's under Lucinda Moore channel. Um, you can go watch the video of Lord I Hear You over there. You'll be blessed highly. Like people are mm -hmm. going crazy over this video, and I yes, thank God. Have like Jesus, have mercy. So go over there and watch the video. Hit it 9,000 times. I need y'all to hit it 9,000 times. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. And it's, it's Lord, I hear you. That's what you want them to see? That's where Lord, you want them to see? I hear you. That's the current. Okay. That's the current. Um, I have two that's out right now. It's Lord, I hear you and victory, no defeat. Okay. Right, right. All right. Well, um, let's see. I think we're going to play that right now we're gonna play lord i hear you and then we want everybody to go over to lucinda's website and per get her merchandise and we also want you to go and hit her up on i am lucinda moore's social media and all of her social media outlets um you can go there find her and support her and her endeavors because she's singing for the lord and that's what we want Amen. Thank you so yes, much, God. Lucinda, for uh, stopping by with us mm -hmm. today, taking time out of your busy schedule. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, thank you. and we appreciate you. And uh, they'll they'll be on your website. They'll be there. All right. I'm here sorry. we go with this Baby. song. Lord, I hear you. This is Lucinda oh. Moore right here on the stellar award-winning gospel radio internet <laughs> station right here, WVTC. We'll see you later. We'll catch you on the radio. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There is a sound I hear so clear Lord, I hear 
Yes, I A sound ringing in my ear Lord, I Yes, I It's a sound in the atmosphere You know what? I think when she did that at GMWA, if I'm not mistaken, I think Maurice Griffin was in her uh, background vocals. And I say that she had it on the track, but then when the track yeah. ran out, so they had yeah. singers on yeah. the stage. Now, yeah. I believe right. that was one of them. Yeah, it was. I think that was him. Yeah. Yep. I think you're right. Yeah. And I saw him uh, last Sunday um, at Craig Memorial uh, for Tony Clark's uh, appreciation service. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, good. and I turned around. I was like, the last time I saw you, you was at Craig. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, excellent, 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 mm -hmm. excellent. So this, is, this has been a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, she is just such a, a jewel and to the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. You know, I think sometimes you have to. Do, 
do something to get out there. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she's written a book uh, about her abuse, so we didn't even scratch any of that. So we'll have to, no. have to, she had to come back. Yeah, yeah. So we can get the get the full mm-hmm. story. So that's probably why she wanted to do the home for. Um, yeah. Abuse. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, because it's personal to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, you know what's amazing? It, does everybody say the same thing? It's hard to get the millennials to listen. It it must be everybody. true. It has to be because everybody everybody say it. Everybody mm-hmm. can't be lying, huh? Everybody <laughs> can't be lying on you. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. everybody says uh, getting them to getting them to just a difficult group. And she mm-hmm. right, they they she right. They re, their response is always, I already know. I know. I know. Yeah. You know, or I mean I got it. I got it. I, yeah, I got it. I got I know, I know. It, no, it's amazing. Know. Did it's any of you ever get a spanking? Did any of you ever get spanked? Yeah, I told you my mom got off the piano and came and got me and my brother because we were on wooden bench. The church had wooden bench. <laughs> And we were there and we had a couple pennies, you know, and we were sitting there and she had the choir singing to the 12th uh, uh, Union Grace Baptist Church. We just going, just going. And the next thing I know, you know, we were like, well, child, the choir singing, she ain't coming. (laughs) She was, was (laughs) and the choir never stopped singing. She went right back over to the piano and continued to play, and they sang. And to this day, I don't move in church. I'm going to say <laughs> I get in the church. You don't see me get <laughs> up, walking out, walking around, unless the pastor has said, "I need you to go do something." Other than that, I'm sitting down. That, that was a lesson learned. That's what I was going to ask lesson you. Lesson learned. Do you remember spanking now that? When you think about it way back, you say, no, I'm not going to do that. Just like Sandy said, you don't move in church because All you're uh, I had to. It, I was at New Light, and I was at a paid position, all of that. And one Sunday, I decided to go downstairs just to see. Because, you know, the musicians all get up, and they go out. I they all that. get up. And I'm like, where, where y'all going? What y'all doing? <laughs> right. And so right. this particular Sunday, I'm like, I'm going with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Child, they didn't do nothing. I got right. up. They went downstairs. They sitting at the table just talking. And I'm like. That jaw jacket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going back in church. And I went mm-hmm. back upstairs. And I didn't go out with them no more. Because they wasn't doing that. Right. Nothing. It's funny. And yeah. I don't know why they do, and they should not do that because the move of God, you don't know when God is going to sprinkle a little oil your way. Mm-hmm. Everybody can mm-hmm. use a little fresh oil. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Everybody. Okay? And you, if you in the basement, you'll miss it. You will. You, <laughs> you will miss it. And you just down that jump. You're not doing anything. Yep. You, just, if you have just to feel it. Like, I just can't. This just the gig. They have that just the gig mentality. No. And they they play, and I be like, mm. no, it's always been my life. So mm-hmm. you know, I wonder yeah, when that all started. I don't know. They've they been doing it for years. They've been doing it for years. But you know what? Um, I I'm gonna play another Lucinda Moore song. But I know a lot of people said that they wanted to see the pictures from the event. So uh, the pictures will be when you see the pictures you'll know oh that's from the event from the women okay. informal network on this past saturday but we do have uh another guest we're gonna bring in uh we've all got right. two guests but one guest we're gonna bring in and you all know who it is and he has a new show coming on wvtc so let's see if we can't play. It wouldn't be my favorite concert. All right, let's see if we can't play. Hold on.
to the beat rocking to the <laughs> beat rocking to the beat and we have none other than <laughs> our <laughs> nephew <laughs> hey, hey. hey. hey Larry. Larry, you've added uh you got adding a few beats to that you've added a few uh voices to that yeah I, yeah you, you, i added a few up, <laughs> yeah i did a little <laughs> tweaking a little additives and stuff i'm uh yeah, he on the Stella want to make sure everything radio is right. station now. Come on, man. <laughs> I just want to make sure everything is right. I am so excited um, to be transitioning uh, to the WVTC family. And uh, I'm nervous, y'all. I'm going to tell you, I'm just, I'm nervous. I'll be telling Sandy, I'm nervous. I'm nervous to say, like, we got you. Uh, you know why. You know, I, I, I'm just so excited about this move God has allowed me to transition to and um i just pray and hope that in that transition that god would give me some insight on how to um forward the kingdom agenda um that's really what it was about when you yes. all was talking about when jesus was talking about greater works that we'll do um i was listening and um the greater work is he's given us greater access Yes. Mm -hmm. The internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can hit millions of people just mm -hmm. by sharing and liking. That is witnessing. Yeah. 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 When you hit share and like, you're witnessing to somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not as hard. It's not as difficult. Mm -hmm. We don't have to stand on the corner and, and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. mean, if that's mm -hmm. what you do, fine. But I'm saying folks sometimes don't witness because they feel like they got to be in somebody's face and they don't know how to talk but right. if you have access to the internet and you're getting good information like you're getting on wvtc all you got to do is share and like and you've witnessed to millions of people okay. that's a good thing yeah. that's a good yeah. thing that's so now thing. with the with the sunday throwbacks you'll be on every sunday at 5 p.m yes um and so what can we expect well, what you can expect is some great gospel music from the present time and the past. As you know, uh, Detroit is the gospel mecca. Don't care what you hear. <laughs> we, are, we are the mecca. We are the gospel mecca. So you'll definitely hear music from uh, past and present. Also, we want to give a platform to new artists, um, a platform that normally they wouldn't have on radio um, mm -hmm. because they have ministry too. They have something to say too. So right. we're That's going right. to be highlighting new artists that are coming out. We're also going to be um, highlighting business people because business, the business world has resources that mm -hmm. the kingdom could use. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we yeah. want to highlight uh black businesses primarily but other businesses that just give the people of god resources and information so we're going to have those kind of people on and in between segments we'll have music we'll have throwback moments and uh there are some other um ideas and creativities that we're coming up with and i think it's just going to be really a blessing to uh the listeners of uh Amen. wvtc uh 
Detroit. I'm trying. I say network, <laughs> but Sandy say Detroit. But um, where you at? Right, right. So <laughs> great resources, and we're just gonna have fun with it. So it's really gonna be fun. So we want everybody to tune in, and um, I just thank God for being a part of this family. This Amen. is great. Yeah. Yeah. Happy yeah. love, get you. Yes. Did you? Yes, yeah, yeah. Pastor Jackie, I love you. I'm gonna need to hold your hand, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna need to hold your hand. Hey, brother Larry, I have a throwback for you if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Which hand do you use to stir your coffee with? Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> he asked me this before, and I forgot. <laughs> but this time, I'm not answering because I know. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> uh oh. oh. <laughs> you, you, uh, you was ready. You was ready. Right, right. Because <laughs> you got me last time. You're so, ready for D WBTC. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. <laughs> Just be ready. <laughs> now, 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 Larry, you created that, that jingle. Where did that come from? Because I noticed everybody that was. Um, this whole staff, they were just like doing this on the side. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was going, where where, where did that come from? I mean, well, actually, you know. actually, one of my favorite producers, one of my favorite producers in the industry, uh, one of my favorite, I, I have some favorites, but one of my favorite producers in the industry is none other than Doobie Pile. And oh, I'm yeah, going to have him on the show very soon. And that's one of the songs that he did with uh, Alexa Spike. Um, okay. And um, the name of the song is Everything Will Be All Right. And I just. No, it's not the throwback. Yeah, I created a jingle from a part of the music. Actually, when he heard it, he was like, man, you crazy. You know, <laughs> I played it, he, was, he was like, Whitfield, you crazy. You know, but. Uh, that's how it was created. And then I was in here, the maestro room, and I put some vocals to it and I did my voiceover and everything in here. And that's how we put it together. Yeah, because they it had me singing Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, why? I keep singing this song. Why? why? <laughs> Yeah. We are so happy to have you with us, and um, you're just such a joy. But you know what? We have another person as yes. well that's coming, and you want to talk about you want to talk about um, Nikki. Yes, Nikki Jones. Hello. Nikki Jones. She is. Uh, I tell you, she is my sister um, in the Lord. Her and I go way back, as you know. Her brother. We all know him as Red Edwards, uh, mm. the late, great Red Edwards, phenomenal organist, producer, songwriter, uh, premier right. musician in the city. And uh, I just, you know, he just left us too soon. Yeah. But uh, yeah. so sister, suddenly, just yes, suddenly. Yes. We was gone. Um, his sister, um, she is creative. She's funny. I mean, she she can do stand up all day. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! And uh, she has a show that is going to be here with the WVTC family. It's called uh, Soulful Inspirations, and uh, it's going to be aired on Tuesdays, I believe, at eight p.m. And her program, I, they, she should be coming in any second. But her, oh, she's here. Oh, is she here? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> um, but her program is, is going to be different. It's going to be innovative. It's going to be informative and it's going to be funny because I tell you, she, I mean, she knows how to make you laugh, like on the down, you know? Mm. So I know her show is just going to be soulful and, and it's going to be powerful and it's all right for us to laugh y'all. Please. Oh, so serious. All right. So well, serious. you know what? We're going to play her intro and then we're going to bring her on. How is that? Absolutely. Let's go. All it. right. So just hold on a second. Here we go. <laughs> This is Soulful Inspiration. It's your girl, Nikki Jones. This will be an hour 
to feed your soul with music and laughter, information and inspiration. You're listening to WVCC Detroit. All designed with you in mind. So sit back, relax, and get ready to join the conversation with me, Nikki Jones. So full. So full inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So how's it going, Nikki? It's going great. I am super duper excited. Just just all in my spirit. This is like fire. Shut up in my bones. I feel like I'm drinking. Yeah. Yes. I'm just happy. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to uh to to just be there and, and be in the mix and be a part of this family and finally get my show back on it's just i'm just excited about it i'm just excited and it's a great day it's a great time for this amen and what can we expect from your show oh you can expect the unexpected the unexpected (laughs) i do not do anything the same way twice so so anything that i do uh it's going to involve some laughter it's going to involve some information it's going to involve some music. It's going to involve uh, some some highlights, some inspiration. Uh, I, I love to just to disseminate information, and and I love to make people laugh, make people smile, inspire you in some type of way. And and I really do believe that laughter is medicine, and it heals because it heals me. That's it heals right. me all You're the right. time. So. I love to do it, and that's what people can expect. Expect the unexpected. You never know who's going to show up. You never know if it's going to be somebody you know or somebody you don't know, and you never know what kind of music I'm going to play. Cause, so it's going to be inspirational now. I'm just going to say it's going to be inspirational, okay? <laughs> Ain't going to be no mess, but I'm just saying. Right. It might not always be what you expect it to be because, you know, that's we right. got to be shocked sometimes in our system in order for us to get back on track. I ain't even gonna go there, but that'll, that'll, that'll preach for free. You gotta be shocked sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Now you're a you're a PK, so how is that affecting you know your delivery here? Oh, it's uh well you know the the co- the comic relief that I provide has always been provided for me. It's been provided for me down through the years. Y'all know my brother was a nut. He was crazy. He was yes. always making people laugh. And and we get it from the genes. It's in the genes. It's in <laughs> the Dana and, and the A. Dana has told us to make Dana. people laugh. Dana. And so we make people laugh. And that is what we do. And so it's just been down through the years. And so my, you know, my dad uh, was very Yeah, we want to give a shout out funny. to your mom and your dad. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. So. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, you're going to get a little bit of everything. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. <clears throat> Don't be surprised. <laughs> no. I might put my dog on the show because he's biting me right now. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> trying to keep my composure, but he's nipping at me right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, you'll be on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Tuesdays at 8 p.m. And we can just look forward to... Um, just a good time with you, so for inspiration. Absolutely, and I have a I have a lot of people that like to co-host with me. But my one of my favorite co-hosts is a pastor. Her name is Pastor D. We call her Pastor D. Her name is Pastor Denise Thomas. And when I tell you, she's seventy-one, but oh, she amen. she comes from that no nonsense. Uh, yeah. old school type and she will give it to you straight with no chaser and right. she'll love mm-hmm. on you at the same time so i got great co-hosts and and then i got i got uh all types of uh uh health professionals mental health professionals that i want to bring on because mental health is important and Absolutely. You know, sometimes we try to just you know just go get prayer and then leave it alone but sometimes we need a little extra amen right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. A lot of times we need a lot of times. Yes, we need therapy. Yes, we need therapy and Jesus. We need therapy. Right. We need Mm -hmm. therapy and Jesus. And so I have a lot of mental health professionals 
um, that have um, that have partnered with me before, and so they will also be on. And we'll just we're gonna make that a priority because I believe mental health and uh, in the church especially is important. And so yes. that's one of my um, that's one of the things that I do want to champion along with bringing back the hymns in the church. Right. Yeah. No! Okay. That's right. Don't no, make us shout. Whoop! That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. We need a good hymn. Absolutely. Yes, so that's going to be, that's, 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 that's kind of like the focus that I want to keep, uh, keep it going. Uh, that was something that my brother started as well. And, uh, you know, we yes. came up on hymns. I'm old school to my heart. I know I'm, if I'm 50, but I don't look 50. So don't, you know, don't be don't tripping. <laughs> 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 so I, I'm, but I'm, but I'm old school in my heart. I'm old school in my heart, and I just appreciate you, Miss Sandy, and I appreciate my brother Larry. Y'all just have made me, uh, uh, just, just put a fire in me. Like I'm telling you, I feel yeah. like Jeremiah, but you know, not the weeping side, just the fire side. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Miss right. Nikki, let me ask you a question. Um, sure. So, what made you uh, want to start? Uh, a, a broadcast what what was going on you said you know i need to i need to get my message out well you know i was born on the river in a little tent <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, so back in the day uh some 20 plus years ago i actually worked for martha jean the queen and uh i i worked at not Daddy the queen Day. yes the I, queen. Bet I bet you yes i worked for the queen and, uh, you know, she told me about the number nine and everything like that. And so she, uh, <laughs> y'all missed that joke. Y'all just completely missed it. Um, <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Um, she was a, she was not the easiest person to work for, but she was very straightforward. And uh, yeah, I, I caught that bug I in terms there. of radio from working for her. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to go to Specs Howard, but I've always done some voiceovers. I was doing voiceover work for a long time. And hmm. so I got back into it. And then. And you're on oh, and, you. and I was like, you know, I always wanted to be on radio. And he was like, yes, you should do it now. And I was like, yes. And so that's how it happened. OK. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Well, you know what? We're going to go out. I, I told I, you know, I, we were going to play this song by Lucinda uh, Moore and we didn't mm -hmm. wanna let it go. So it's only a three minute song, but we'll be right back after this. We're going to play this song. We'll be right back. OK. All right. On the stellar award winning gospel uh, radio show. Yeah. Right here on WVP. See, see, say it again. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's do this again. Singers, y'all ready?
Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. My Lord. My Lord. Sandy. Sandy, I see tamarines come out, cowbells. <laughs> I'm looking around for a drumstick or something. I'm like, y'all hey, just came you out have to, You have to ask Roxy about it. We got the WVTC band. Ah. <laughs> Richard has his tambourine. Oh. Uh, she, uh, uh, she always has her triangle. Teresa. Teresa. With her <laughs> triangle, baby. <laughs> Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, okay, I got to pick up something. <laughs> <laughs> I need to wash oh, yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, you can't. We got a washboard. We just got a washboard. We just got the washboard. So right now, we're just percussion. So if anybody wants to bring a flute or something. <laughs> uh, well, all we I can do is wipe my hands. Because the only thing I play is the radio. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the 10-string no instrument. Radio. That's what we yeah. need. Guitar. Clap yeah. on the beat. Clap on the beat. Clap on the beat. On That's the two right. and the four, please. On the two and the four. And the four. <laughs> right. right. Not the one and the three. Not the one and the three. And we know we know by all of us. <laughs> Amen. But we are just so blessed and so happy to um build what the Lord said, Bill, because, you know, we are builders and that's what we do. We build, that's right. and we are just so happy to build. And we thank God for that. Um, again, Larry, tell us when you're coming on. Yes, we will be coming on. I want to give a quick shout out to my co-host, Louis Boyd III. He's been with me uh, from the very beginning, a very humble and funny guy. And he's a historian of music. I mean, he can really give you background information. He's coming along with me. We're going to be every Sunday at 5 p.m. right here on the WVTC Network. Say it, say it, son. Say it. Say it, it I'm I'm black and I'm yes. Yeah. We are thank so excited. Lord, We're so excited. We are excited. And Nikki, we want you to give your information as well. Yes. So hello, this is your girl, Nikki Jones. I need you to be at the at the radio uh, in front of your phone, in front of your TV, in front of your electronic device. Praise God. Every Tuesday at eight o'clock p.m. So you can see soulful inspirations. We yeah. don't inspire you. To be a better person for God. Hallelujah. Octopa. Yes. I, Ooh, oh, I felt that over here. I, I smell that. ammonia. I smell ammonia. I want you to be encouraged. <laughs> and I want you to be inspired. Amen. Praise God. We gonna get you right. We gonna get you right. So I, told I told y'all. I told y'all she o'clock. can do it on the dime. She'll have to happen <laughs> on the dime. I told y'all that. Yeah, yeah. We are just so excited about all that God wants us to do and that we're doing all that we can do. Um, we're going to do our round robin and um, dismiss. Um, so we'll do Teresa and then Richard and Pastor Jackie and then we're out. Oh, before we go, I have, I, by way of announcements, uh, GMWA will be rehearsing this Friday. We're getting ready to go to Chicago, um, and we will be in Chicago in uh, in November the 18th. So we will be there. So please be at rehearsal this Friday, uh, 14201 Puritan. That's Craig Memorial, uh, Puritan at Ardmore. You know where it is. Seven o'clock. We'll be there. Be there or be square. Um, and I think that's all I have for the announcements. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, praise the Lord, everybody. And we just want to say, first of all, thank you uh, to our listening audience for always being there. We see your faithfulness and we appreciate that. Welcome to uh, Nikki. Welcome to Larry. Uh, this is uh, such, uh, such a surprise to see the, uh, the commercials. Uh, I was like, okay, now we're moving. Um, but uh, just thank you all so much for uh, joining the family. And I wanted to encourage everyone, um, you've got some time, you know what time they come on. Uh, please make sure you, you uh, watch their programs as well. We, we appreciate your faithfulness here, but let's make sure we uh, uh, populate those uh, streams for them as well. And we want to thank you for those who do watch um, um, Bishop Woods and his program. You know, let's have more people on that as well. That's so right. we've That's got to support all of our WVTC Detroit yes. uh, programs. So just please just 
just stay tuned and and, and be blessed. Thank yeah. you all for coming. Have Thank a great you, weekend. Teresa. And on that that note, we're we're trying to get our whole Sunday booked up, so you won't have to turn and go searching and hunting for something to do. You can stay right here on WVTC. All right. Amen. All right, I just like to say there's so many wonderful things about Jesus. There's so many wonderful things about him. And this is one of them right here. Thank you, Sandy Rose. Thank the Lord for being here. And thanks, Sandy Rose, for giving me this opportunity to be here with you, Sister Jackie uh, and Teresa and my new friends. That old guy, I'm sorry, he's not my new friend, but Larry Larry Whitfield. Who's my starting out wrong? Nikki Jones. Uh, I feel a new thing coming on right here. And that new thing, we got to be prepared. So get ready, get ready, because it's coming your way. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm just I'm just excited. I'm excited <laughs> about how God is moving yes. and using you, Sandy. Mm -hmm. to connect others for the advancing of the kingdom of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just awesome to me. It's just, I'm I'm delighted and humbled to be a part of just a small part. I I, I appreciate it. And listen, I encourage my babies because Larry's my baby. (laughs) He's my baby. And he's so anointed. And Lady Jones, Lady Jones, Lady Jones, (laughs) Lady Jones. It's just awesome. It's awesome what God, what the move of God is doing. It is. You all need to click in, click in. Yes. God is doing awesome things. I I think it's more than this says, whatever God is doing, don't do it without me. That's right. Don't be left out. Don't be left. God bless all of you. And Lady Lucinda that was on, she has an awesome voice, gorgeous Mm -hmm. voice. God bless it to her and favor. Amen. Amen. And and we want to make sure that everybody does um, come on the station and, again, support them. You'll be hearing their announcements to tell when the shows are coming on. You'll be hearing that. And if you know somebody that wants this show or uh, you might want a show, let us know. You can contact us at wvtcradiodetroit at gmail.com and we will supply your needs. Um, you can mm-hmm. also go to the website wvtcdetroit.com and fill out the form there and we'll be here for you just like we're here for Nikki Jones. See, that the jingles are it's stuck in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is like this. <laughs> we, <laughs> we love everybody. You you too good? Yeah, I just oh, I'm good. Sandy, thank you so much for the invitation. Absolutely. Uh this is really your second round with me. So second time I said yes. First time I wasn't ready. But uh, <laughs> but, uh I thank God for other entities that got me ready. And uh I I appreciate you so much for believing in me. I and do. uh I do. I'm going to do you proud. I do. I believe. You're natural. You're natural. Amen. And we're we're here to um, help further people. If they want to do something, we're here to help. So, again, if you know somebody that wants to, your church wants to broadcast, we will take a broadcast. All right. And it's affordable. So, please contact us. We will be here for you. And if there be nothing else, what we'll do is we're going to play our closing song. And this is none other than if you want to sing with us, this was taped in Chicago on one of our visits to GMAC, and we'll be doing that again. So we want everybody, make sure you stay safe. We'll see you right back here next Monday, same bat time, same bat channel. We'll be right here. We love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Night, night. Night, night. 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 Love you all. Elder Love Rudolph Stanfield.
for listening to the Sandy Rose Show with your host, Sandy Rose. If you have enjoyed this broadcast, won't you consider liking and sharing this with a friend or family member? We'd love for you to share it on your Facebook page. Thank you for tuning to WVTC Radio Detroit. Remember to like and share this broadcast with a friend. We are WVTC, winning victory through Christ. You're listening to WVTC, Gospel Radio Detroit, and we're flowing in the spirit.